Okay, welcome back. This is part B of the dirty washing and dry brushing sequence of the uniforms. Uh, of course, you can always add more washes and more dry brush once the pieces are on the figure, but I do this before putting them on. Let's bring in what I call the, the weathering palette, white, just to lighten everything if I need it. Usually light in with this, which is buff, khaki, flatter. Okay. Uh, these are pieces that I have already washed and have dried. Again, this is a shirt, plain gray shirt. Uh, it's not, it's not the same shirt. This is the same shirt. This is a shirt after the wash. Of course, some shirts have different shades. This is this same shirt uh, after just a wash and it's dried and this is dry brushed so i'm gonna do this one dry brush use the white what i do is i make a little mix from my weathering palette buff khaki more buff than khaki touch of flat earth And then whatever color you more or less decide, you could go lighter, you could go a little bit. Okay. Then again, the, the piece is already stiff from the wash, which has dried. Okay. So it actually makes the dry brushing more effective. Usually shirts, you don't have to do the whole finish because they're not gonna show. So you can just do where they're gonna be showing. In this group, I have two figures that are a shirt sleeve order, so they're not gonna have tunics over them. So I'll be doing uh, the whole. If, if I want everything a little bit lighter, I could go with, with the white and of course, the rules of dry brushing apply. Lighter color, lighter pressure. What I would go is over the seams, over any and again you can later go over the pieces again. This is a previously dry brushed and this one has also been dry brushed too. Uh, I can't show you uh, before because the other shirts I have are are another tone of gray so it won't look. Here's the the HBT tunic again the same buff khaki And basically do the the same. What I, what I go is over the edges, over the seams, and over the whole thing. But over the edges, stress the edges. Again, later on, once on the figure, is there anything you don't like or you want to add? But the wash brings up the texture of the fabric and makes the, I always believe has made the dry brushing more effective. Okay. Do I have a before and after? 
on this tunic? I don't. I don't. Okay. Let's do a, a Panzer tunic black. This one's already been washed. In black, everything is more dramatic. So, unless you want a very heavy application, go light from the beginning and see how it goes. Again, just go over the seams. can really make a mistake if you if you end up with something too weathered back to the wash and it basically kind of cleans everything cleans everything out this particular crew is a uh, it's in the summer of 44 in an armored reconnaissance vehicle so the main color would be black in this particular case I'm, I'm doing a dedicated crew for the Gross Deutschland the piping will be yellow gold uh, these tunics are almost impossible to get anymore good thing I got a lot loose because most of the black here cut uh, tunics had piping and this so late in the war is better not to have piping okay do i have a before here no nope. okay but i have uh, some trousers no nope. the trousers are here uh, this is before the wash uh, after the wash and here after the dry rushing. Any edges welcome the, the effect. Might look too dramatic, but it'll be okay. Time check here. All right. Okay, and I'll show these, the HVT armored vehicle uh, trousers. I think I showed this in the other tape, but comes in handy here. Stock piece after the wash, after the dry brush. Okay. Hope some of this is helpful. Again, these are techniques I've used. Uh, since I started bashing figures about 18 years ago. Uh, and once on the figure, you can do some tweaking. The reason that I remove all the snaps uh, is twofold. First, it gives me a little more leeway to dress the figure more smartly maybe make it tighter, not having to depend on where the snaps are. So I can glue it, you know, not complete range of motion, but more than the snaps would offer. Second, when the snaps are there, uh, it, uh, it affects the, eff the dry brushing because it's gonna be a big lump there that is gonna stand out. If you leave that snap and and you dry brush over it, you're gonna get the effect of the snap through the cloth. So no snaps. That's the first thing. Patiently sit down and remove the snaps from everywhere. Then the wash, wait for that to dry, which is relatively quickly. This denature alcohol thing is uh, fearsome. <laughs> uh, and then the dry brush using the palette going over the edges. Hope some of this helps.